All right, diving into Carly Gregg's murder trial. She killed her mother, shot her in the face. And this happened a year ago. She was 14. Now she is 15. This is day one. This is the dispatch. Um, on the stand, her mother was a school teacher. Um, did two videos opening statements from the prosecution and from the defense. And from my perspective, she looked scared during the prosecution statements. And she looked sad and crying during the defense statements. And my analysis was that she is sociopathic, narcissistic. She was crying because it was about her. She did not cry during the prosecution's statements when 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 her when she was referring to her shooting her mother shooting her father she just looked scared she didn't cry she wasn't thinking about her mom now i'm not an expert just like i said in the other video i am not an expert the defense is trying to say that she's mentally ill. The prosecution thinks it's normal. Uh, they're going to disprove she's on drugs and this and that. So now I'm diving into day one, uh, which day one was the opening statements from both. But now I'm getting into testimony. And I believe this is going to show or play the audio of the... Um, the 911 call. So I have heard the 911 call because I had used some the home video footage and I did see the police footage uh for uh, I think it was on long crime of them showing up and treating him. But as far as the rest of the case itself in the courtroom itself, I haven't. So here we go. Uh, March 19th of this year, March 19th, 2024. Um, were you employed as a dispatcher with Rankin County at that time? Yes, I was. And and that was as a dispatcher? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, were you uh, working that day? Yes, I was. Do you re uh, recall receiving a call from an individual by the name of Mr. Heath Smiley that day? Yes, I do. And what was the reason for Mr. Smiley calling 911? He called because he had been shot uh, at first he said he had grazed the neck uh, once during the middle of the call he then stated that his wife was also shot dead on the floor and I uh, continued to talk to him until deputies arrived on scene and um, do you recall the address that Mr. Smiley was calling from? Yes, it was 214 Ashton's Way. Okay. Is that address located in Rankin County? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, how, uh, Mr. Collins, how would you describe uh, Mr. Smiley's demeanor whenever you first picked up um, the phone uh, off that day? He was very distraught. Uh, at first, I thought I was speaking with a female. Uh, it wasn't until I found out his name that I knew it was a male. And then I just continued to get further information from him, what I could. He couldn't even, the first, when I asked him the address at the first time, he couldn't even tell me the address. I went off of the 911, which gave us, I believe, 215 Ashton Way. And then later on during the call, I verified with him what his address was. Okay. Um, and you mentioned that, that Mr. Smiley uh, stated that, that he was grazed and that, and that um, his wife was dead. Did he tell you anything else? Um, he also advised that his stepdaughter had shot him and that he had taken the gun from her and she ran out the back door wearing, I believe, a gray shirt and jeans and went over the back fence. I got a description from him that we could pass along to our officers, and that's most of it. Except he did also advise that she had 
uh, been going through some things and was on medication trying to. Okay, so we know the defense had said that the the stepdad, my little brain full of mush is what I picked up on, uh, that the stepdad claimed, now this is what the defense opening statement said, says that the stepdad says he thinks that Carly didn't know it was him. Just keep that in mind. Carly didn't know it was him. Oh, and by the way, the the comments are brutal for this witness, which is uncalled for and unnecessary. For Pete's sake, what's wrong with these people? They're like saying, I saw one comment, I glazed down real quick to look at my controls, and it was saying, yeah, he's got a burger hidden under his shirt or something stupid. Oh, my God. Come on, man. That's just crazy. Deal with some stuff. Okay. Um, when someone calls 911, are those calls recorded? Yes, they are. And uh, do you know um, whether that whether or not those calls are kept in the normal course of business by the Rain County Sheriff's Office? Yes, they are. Okay. Um, do you know whether your call with Mr. Smiley on March 19, 2024 was recorded? Yes, it was. Um, and do you know whether or not that call was kept in the normal course and scope of uh, business by the Rain County Sheriff's Office? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, have you listened to that call before? Yes, I have. May I approach your honor? Mr. Collins, I, I handed you an item. Um, do you recognize that? Yes, sir. It's a disc of the recording. And how do you, how do you know that's what that is? Because I initialed and dated it. Okay. Have you watched or listened to that call before? Yes, I have. And you said there are some initials on there. Are those your initials? Yes, sir. They are. Um, whenever you listened to that call, did it appear to be altered or edited in any way? No, it did not. Okay. Um, Your Honor, at this point, we would uh, move this disc in as State's Exhibit 1. Any objection? No objection, Your Honor. Be admitted as one all purposes. And Mr. Collins, you mentioned that you uh, that you listened to this. Is this a, a complete a, a complete call uh, recording of the call with Mr. Smiley that day? Yes, it is from beginning to end. Okay. Um, Your Honor, may I publish this for the jury, please? Yes. Sir.
No further questions, Your Honor. Does the defense wish to use the uh, projector for cross examination? The defense has no cross examination. All right. You may step down, sir. How can they cross examine that? That was painful to listen to. And her sitting there crying. Is she realizing the severity of what she has done? I'm assuming this is the first time she's heard this. And him screaming in agony is something you never want to hear. Now, I said in the other videos, I think she's a socio narcissistic type of person because she cried during the defense's opening statements that it's uh, it was not her fault she's mentally ill she has problems but she's boohooing through that she's boohooing through that i'm anxious to get to the um psychiatrist and see what they're going to say but i don't know Guys, that was, um, that was bad. That was horrific. That was horrific.